y'all, it's me. I'm at my sister's house in Mississippi. As you can tell, location change. All right, here we go. Here's something y'all need to see. I'm working on it again. However, it's gonna be different, y'all, because she put out another piece, another panel. So this is gonna be the gingerbread. Because see, she put the gingerbread on the back of the deer. I didn't like that idea. I wanted it to have its own panel. So I found this brown that's more like a, a caramel than um, a dark brown. And I've got a dark brown for the, the reindeer. But I wanted a different brown for the gingerbread. I wanted it to look more like gingerbread, if you know what I mean. And then, of course, the green. We're doing a different color green. It's bright, but it's not too bright. And it is obviously the white. Now... As to what I'm using, now, this one, the green, was, uh, yeah, I cut it up because I wanted the uh, pattern on the other side, y'all. Okay. It was 354 yards, 7 ounces, uh, to full weight, the green is, and it is, hold on just a second, it's Michael's, I think it's Michael's. Is what they said they got where they got it. Craft Smart. That's what I'm using for the green. Now, the brown is Lion Brand's Pound of Love, and it is the color. Hold on, let me find it. Umber. Doesn't look like an umber. It looks like a light brown. Okay, and the white is. I've never had this before, and I ordered it because I had to order all the other ones. I ordered Premier Basics for the other colors, for the green and the, I mean, for the red and the and the brown of the, the deer and the red for Santa. But the white, I wanted to try Stitch Studio by Nicole. Now, I do like this. Um, it's actually, it's, it's, it's a really nice yarn. I, I like it a lot. This, not so much. I got almost to the end of this of the green panel, and it only took one skein. Um, got almost to the end of the green panel, and it started. You know, have you ever seen where uh, with roving yarn, if you pull too hard, it kind of pulls apart. That's what it was doing, and it was freaking me out because it's not a roving yarn. It's a regular yarn. It's supposed to be wound real tight. Y'all gonna have to excuse me. My hair's like crazy. Um, it's it's wound real tight, so it it's not supposed to be a roving, but it turned into a roving, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But there it is. I'm also working on more than one of those blankets at a time, and. Okay, this I've got to pause so I can show, show y'all because i got to go get it. It's over there. So hang on. Okay, I changed angles just a little bit. Y'all, I've been using this Stylecraft special that Linda sent me from... Um, I've been mixing it between double knit and full weight. So, I mean, I've been using both, both kinds. So, yeah. Hang on. I need to put a... Do I have a stitch mark? I do. Okay. Hold on. Let me pull this out because I need to pull hold it up for y'all to see. Y'all remember that that piece I showed you that was like going outwards? It was like I, I said it was the Africa pattern. Well, I've been working on it and I'm down to the last three things. Now, this is something that wasn't included in the actual pattern that I picked up. Um they don't tell you how to fix this in. So I, whenever I went to do the, you know, to make it to the square instead of like, you know, layers, you know, stair steppers, I had to find a way to fill it in. And so I did. I filled it in so that I could go ahead and move on to the next, just going all the way around. Okay. So if y'all are ready, this is how it's looking. It's almost done. Almost. Yeah, I know. 
I'm going to post a picture on Rose Likes Crochet when it's done um, because it's huge and I love it and it's going on my bed. So whenever I show y'all things on my bed, you're probably going to see this too because <laughs> I'm so excited. It's so pretty, y'all. It's like a hundred different colors, but it's all the different colors that Linda sent me. Um, I started with a darker purple, then moved to the teal, then moved to coral, I call it coral, then light blue, kind of a dusty blue, and then a peach, green, gold, pink, uh, kind of a, a tone, uh, a light tone green, blue kind of color. And then orange, believe it or not, green, like lime green. It's like really, um, this is a uh, maroonish color. This is a purple again. This is baby blue, and this is going to be red. Now, what I did to fill in the sides, because you can tell it's just kind of there. I did it as much as I could, but I did double I did the uh, pattern, this pattern, the double double crochet chain skip a stitch uh, all the way down across the bottom of the thing. So you see that? That's, that's that, okay? And then I did two rows of double crochets to fill out the first stair step. And then I just repeated the process for the next stair step and then I did a different darker color purple because you can barely tell there's a slight difference in the color of darker purple for the going all the way around the whole blanket to bring it all together because I wanted the color to kind of like pull out, if you know what I mean, kind of pull. So, y'all, this blanket has made me the most excited about anything that I've ever done because it's just so unique. And I found this in Plain Jane's, um, it's called Plain Jane's, it's, a, it's on Facebook, it's a group. And she posted the link to this pattern there and I had to try it. I mean, I, I don't know about y'all, but I didn't think I'd be able to do it because it's so, it looks so complicated, but it is so easy. It's just a two row repeat for most of it, um, especially for the edges. But the, um, it's just not as difficult as you think it's gonna be. I thought it was gonna be really hard to do, but it really wasn't, and I was shocked by that. Because, you know, I, I don't go for that old complicated Stuff. Although I did do a sweater uh, by Bag o Day for my grand nephew. So that's a, I don't know what that is. But that's all that there that was, is I wanted to do that for him. And that didn't take no time. I mean, she has a child sweater on there, y'all, that is so simple. It doesn't take any time at all, and you can do it in anything you want, any color you want, any whatever, because the way that it works up, it doesn't matter. Now, if you're gonna color control, like if you have a, a bunch of different colors, uh, like a mandala or whatever that is, but she prefers a four weight with that. That's what I use. And, um, but if you have one of those that have the different layers of color that, you know, whenever they're, Crochet, they make little stripes, and you want to line them up on the other. That's going to take color control, and that will have to be something that you do yourself because she doesn't show you how to color control. Um, that's something I wish that somebody would put a video out about because I would like to know. Um, just finished watching Madonna's little day one of her Advent thing, which, of course... I didn't know Lynette was doing it. I, I may not have been paying attention because, you know, I've been packing and getting things together and I had to pack on yarn. I had to order yarn to be shipped here. You know, I just had a whole bunch going on, so I haven't been doing a whole lot. 
and I didn't know if I was going to record while I was here, but she has way better internet than I do, so <laughs> I will be probably recording a little bit while I'm down here, because I definitely want to show y'all when I finish each blanket, you know, because I'm doing them a little different. I'm doing... This one's going to be the single crochet, which is a little harder, and it's going to take a little longer. This is the half double crochet, and this is like the one that I made before. I'm going to do the other blankets that way, because this goes a whole lot faster. Linda was absolutely right about that. Thank you, Linda. And, because uh, she just shares all her little tricks and, and stuff with all of us, and I'm, I'm glad she does, because, you know... I need that, um, like shortcuts that save a little bit of time because I like to do a lot of crocheting. Um, I still have two scarves I have to make before Christmas, so y'all wish me luck on that one because I got to get these blankets finished too before Christmas, and I want to finish this. But with uh, just three colors left to go, this one won't take as long as those, so I'm working on those first. I may not finish this before Christmas, and if I don't, I will show y'all whenever I get back home uh, what it looks like. But yeah, I'm excited. Y'all see, I got my hands full, working, working, working. I'm on my computer because there's no TV in this room, and you know, I like to crochet and watch TV at the same time. So to me, it makes more sense. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go so I can get this video posted. And I can actually do it right now, right after I finish filming. So I'm excited about that. Um, Y'all take care. Let me know what you're working on in the comments because you know I like to know what I'm working on because it always gives me ideas. Um, but yeah, I also get my inspiration from the Facebook groups that I'm a part of. And Plain Jane's, she has several. So if y'all look up Plain Jane's, I believe it has an S, apostrophe S on the end. I'm not sure. I didn't check before I got online. I, okay, y'all, just, just hit me later, okay? Y'all just ignore me for right now. Let's go to Facebook. Okay, let's see. I like looking at uh, summer tips and stitches. Uh, sweet teas. All right, let me find my... No, not the marketplace. My uh, groups. All right, let's see. Okay, it's plain, P-L-A-I-N, Jane's, J-A-N-E, apostrophe S, crochet. Beautiful patterns on there. Y'all, if y'all get it, crochet circle. Don't forget the circle. This is an awesome group because they all post these pictures of things that they're doing, like, that, I mean, carnations. Oh, and here's another person who did this pillow, this Africa pattern. I don't know if y'all can see that or if it's too bright. But yeah, she did a different, different way, a different way she did it. And another one did it even different, more different. She did a uh, much bolder colors, like um, she made it into a top. But yeah, they have a ton of patterns on this particular Facebook group, and I really, really like them. So if you get a chance, go check them out. Um, I think you would like it if you joined it. If you're one of those who always are is looking for something new, some something unique, something a little bit different than everybody else is doing at the same time, that's a good group to go to. Um, I don't know if I can link their Facebook page in here. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, for somebody who, who can pick up crochet, who can pick up computers, I still don't know how to do the the link, a lot of the links in here, so y'all go ahead to kill me on that later. I've uh, been to Summer's Tips and Stitches and watched all hers, been catching up on everybody's. Uh, Rose Lakes Crochet, I've been by hers, Bag of Days. I don't know about y'all, but I like her and Mr. B.O.D. at the same time. They're funny. They are, they really kill me because they do literally read each other's minds in a way. It's funny to watch. Um, but yeah, that that's about it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. This is a longer video than I normally do. Uh, 
and I'm talking way fast. But that's just because I want to get back to work. Yeah, I, I know. I know, right? Oh, and my sister got me some socks. <laughs> I love that. All right, y'all. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to see about getting this posted as quickly as possible. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.